Hi everyone, uh, my name is Yash Talwar and uh, yeah, my journey for this specific job uh, started nearly a month and a half back when I started searching for the job uh, very regularly, very aggressively. I started looking for the job and I applied for, I think, nearly uh, 12 openings at that point of time. There are many openings coming up every day. So one of them was this specific company. Uh, the job description they asked for, it looked very much similar to what I have been doing since last few uh, years, I would say. And uh, although it looked very overwhelming in the beginning, but in one of the videos posted by Brad, uh, I got a clue that we should not be overwhelmed by what they are asking for in the job description. We should not be carried away by uh, so many terms. There are so many certifications and seniority and developer and rest of the thing they're asking for. If you can find something that you can do in that job, just apply for it. And yeah, this was one of those. They specifically, they asked for three years of experience. Otherwise, prior to coming in touch with Brad, I would have never applied for this job, never. Three years is way beyond what my experience is. But the rest of the things absolutely suited me. I could do that very easily, what they're asking for. And in fact, three years was not even required to do the, those kind of stuff. So I applied for it. And uh, in a week's time, I got uh, an email from their HR. They gave me a time and they went through the first round. It was most like a, mostly like a checkbox kind of uh, a questionnaire and all went well. Then came the technical round in another 10 days time. It went well as well, uh, thanks to Brad again, because I was well prepared for this interview. And uh, it went absolutely, magically, it went absolutely as I expected. Uh, maybe because the questions were not that detailed. Maybe I answered them so well that they did not feel like going into the details. And it went well again. And before the final round of interview, they gave me an opportunity to ask some questions about the company, in which I asked various questions, which were meaningful for me. During those questions itself, I asked that, you asked for three years of experience, which I don't have. And they very clearly said exactly the same thing, which Brad has already uh, said in one of his videos, that that's the optimum thing we are looking for, but that's not a fixed kind of a parameter. So even if you don't have an experience of that range, but still you have the confidence and the knowledge, we will consider you. So yeah, that journey went very well and I got the offer in another week's time. So it took uh, nearly one month overall and uh, less than two months since I joined this course and the offer has been accepted. So, so far it's going really nice. Uh, I moved to Canada early to 2020 uh, at the start of pandemic, not one of the best times to move to a new country. So yeah, I have two kids and a wife and family and my wife is working as well. So my recent assignments were, recent jobs were related to customer oriented roles, uh, business development related roles and, and analyst kind of roles in which Salesforce was a part of as a tool. Like I was using Salesforce and I was pretty impressed by the smoothness it was giving to me as an end user. But the real turning point came when I moved to North America. I moved to Canada and here Salesforce is a buzz. It's like very much in hype. It was not that much in hype back in India, but here it's like Salesforce is the in thing. Everyone wants to get associated with Salesforce. And uh, I started looking into it. I was anyways not finding uh, an appropriate job. I had a job when I landed, but not the one which I was looking for. So as an alternate career, I started looking into it. And to be honest, I fell in love with Salesforce. Uh, it, as soon as I completed a couple of trails, it was easy to use. It was spot on. Whatever you were looking for, there were solutions. There is no mystery. There is no alien land where you would be wandering for many days to find a solution. There are so many helping hands. So I took this decision. So why not get into the administration part of it? I can understand what Salesforce is trying to accomplish. I can look into various business cases and try and implement that, try and customize that. So let's look into this. And since then, the journey has been smooth. It, it, it has been smooth. Once you understand the core of Salesforce, that what is it trying to achieve? There are many peripherals. There are many things around. People get confused. People get carried away by marketing cloud or maybe Einstein analytics or so many new plugins coming into the Salesforce. But the core is customers, the accounts object of Salesforce. So once you get grip on that, then rest of the things fall into place.
this is where I started my journey with Salesforce here. I would say that Salesforce is a is an ocean. It's a wide ocean. You can you can e easily get lost anywhere in any one of the uh, sections, which uh, in any one of the clouds. I would say in that vast ocean, it's not easy to just straight away dive in and uh, find a job and find your path. So when I started my journey with Salesforce, I was equally clueless where to start from. Everybody, I saw so many of videos, and that's where I came across. Uh, your channel as well when i was scanning through so many videos how to start how, how to dive in how to make it a career not just sit on the fence and watch it from a distance so everyone was saying about administration administration and certification related to that and uh, how you can get a job related to that how easy that is that was getting a bit annoying to be honest in the beginning that everyone was trying to prove how easy it is it's not that easy for a newcomer unless you dedicate yourself into it. It's not like a cakewalk. You have to invest yourself into Salesforce or any other technology for that matter. So when I came across your channels, you were actually talking, you were actually talking one step further. How easy it is, that's good. But how to take the next step? No one else was talking about it actually. How to take the next step, where to move forward. Everyone was talking about take this certification. Next path would be sales consultant cloud or developer etc etc and the tree entire certification tree again it was very overwhelming people were coming up with 8x 12x 15x kind of profiles but nobody ever talked about how to start your journey by making a linkedin profile first and that's what struck me very very sharply that when i heard your videos and your emphasis was so much on doing the groundwork right certification yes it will come when the time comes and you will be ready one day but before reaching that stage, you have to do a lot of groundwork. And that groundwork was, uh, I was totally, uh, <laughs> I had not even started that groundwork properly. My LinkedIn profile was all over the place. It was showing me weak kind of experience, too many tools and technologies which I have seen. It was not streamlined. I really loved when you said that your profile should say loud and clear Salesforce. And that's where I decided that, yes, this is the guy who's gonna take me further in this journey. I joined your program. It was good to be, to, to be honest with, there are too many takeaways I, I have uh, received in this program so far. But to start with, your program was actually a step-by-step -step guide on what to do before you actually land your first interview. No one else was talking about it. And that was very, very beneficial for me. I I would not like to compare other programs, but I enrolled for MWM, Mike Wheeler's, uh, academy as well but that's too technical for a newcomer there is plethora of information too much of information there you can easily get lost learning and learning for new badges for new certifications but until and unless you get your groundwork in the right uh, perspective the business the employers are looking for you're not going to get your first interview call and rest of the certifications are of no use so that that was the beginning point for me to join your program uh, I applied for maybe 10, 15 jobs. I did uh, 10, 15 openings. I did not get any revert from any one of them. So the natural next step was, okay, let's go for another certification. Maybe that might get me a job. And then I stopped myself. No, 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 that's not the direction. Another certification will not get me a job. I'm not doing something correctly. So I should focus on that. So that's where I opened up the rest of your videos. You At that time, you very recently added, one video related to follow-ups after you have given an interview and uh, let me be honest that video changed my perspective in a huge way i actually started following up uh, and this offer which i have got i followed up with this employer as well after the interview i followed up in exactly the same pattern as you have suggested and i got a reply that program was uh, I mean, that overall project was very very useful uh, very useful in the sense that uh, in one word i would say it gave me confidence that the theory i have read so far and the kind of trails i have been doing so far and the knowledge i have gained so far it's exactly what the employers are looking for it's it's what the value is for we can convert our knowledge into projects so easily so that project gave me the confidence we four of us we did 
uh, quite good work. I would say that the rest of the three members, they were doing, they, we all were very excited, very energetic. We all complimented each other very well. And we did good work in the sense that I really liked the way others were working. They appreciated the kind of automation and my things which I did in the project. And overall, all of us gained knowledge as well as confidence of the real world project. It would not have been possible. The best thing about the project, I would say, is uh, uh, was that it was precise. It was not an ongoing kind of a project like in other volunteer projects. There are like six months, 12 months project. No one is chasing you up. No one is giving you any, uh, you know, uh, your scorecard. Nobody is telling you if you have done it right or wrong. It, you, you, you have invested six months into a project and still it's not even started it was not like that it was a real project we were talking to mark so often he was giving us spontaneous replies we were talking to each other every day almost every day we had a call and we were discussing and planning and we decided to give something over and above what has been asked for so that gave us an opportunity the most important thing the last and the most important thing was that the project was within our capability it was not an extremely complicated project it was not a novice kind of a project it was very well crafted uh, for somebody who has initial experience in salesforce who can play around with all the aspects of salesforce uh, right from objects to validations to automation to reports and dashboards and uh, an app exchange plugin was also installed that was a part of the project so it was very well crafted so that we get hands on on maximum possible aspects of Salesforce. Excellent. Okay, so that <laughs> that was about the most concise and excellent re review of that that I've, it's much better worded than I could word it. It's the same thing I told you in your mock interview. It's, yeah. I think you word things much more concisely than than I, I even have the ability to. Um, so that was, uh, that was spot on. So um, I think really the, the last question I have, unless there's something you feel compelled to talk about. Um, the last question that I have on my mind is, it's it's a really simple just delivery to someone who is interested in the program, but they're not 100% convinced yet. And maybe they're thinking about trying the DIY approach, which is perfectly fine. They can try try to figure it out themselves. Um, that's, that's respectable as long as you're focused and you're gonna go for it. Um, <laughs> But what would you say to someone who's who's thinking, I don't know if this is worth it. I don't know if this is really going to give me the end result I'm looking for. I've got to think about it, see what, you know, see what's on the radar, get my finances together, whatever it is. Um, what would you say to someone who's sort of on the fence and, you know, interested, but they're not 100 percent sure just yet? Uh, one has to introspect if somebody is really pro uh, he is you know a seasoned professional in uh, getting interview calls and he's going for the interviews and he's actually rejecting the offers then this program is not meant for him he has already gone past all those stages this program is definitely for <laughs> the majority of people like us who are not getting that many interview calls and they are wandering around they don't know the reason you know the the best thing I got out of this program is peace of mind that if I'm not getting an interview call, I used to get anxious that, oh, where did I do the wrong thing? What, what went wrong? Did they not like my resume or are they looking somewhere else or what did they do? What did I do wrong? Now, one thing is for sure with me that if I do not get an interview call, that would be because of my technical skill set. Rest, everything has been taken care of by the program. If I get an interview call and after that I do not get selected, that will again be because of my technical skill set. I do not have technical knowledge which they were looking for. Rest, everything has been taken care by the program. The groundwork has been laid very well. They cannot find any flaws in that. And I'm well prepared, I'm confident, my vocabulary, my terminology, everything's with me. The project experience is with me. But if I'm lacking in technical know-how, what they're looking for, then of course this program is not covering that aspect as yet. So for people like me, uh, who are in the initial stages of their Salesforce career and uh, who are wandering around, who do not know how to get their first job, uh, full-time kind of administrator's job, then yes, this program is invaluable. It will give you the confidence and peace of mind that everything is in safe hands. Uh, as I said in one of my previous conversations, like 
you are acting like, uh, <laughs> you know, when we are going to an unknown terrain, uh, we switch on our GPS and the GPS tells us now take a right, now take a left and now take a U-turn. Now you're about to reach your destination in this many minutes. So you're doing exactly that job. I'm in an unknown terrain. I do not know what to do now. So I'll get easily, I'll easily get lost. Easily I'll take a wrong turn and there might not be any U-turn. Many people will drop out of Salesforce because they will take a wrong turn. So yeah, you're kind of my GPS. This program is kind of my GPS who's telling me at every step what to do next. Once I reach the destination, it's entirely up to me. The job of GPS is over. One point I would like to highlight that what would have stopped me from getting into this program, uh, the cost, the dedication aspect, the career change, the timing, uh, I would like to highlight one thing. Uh, the cost can be a deterrent, but at the same time, oh, how I passed that deterrent was the installment option the equal EMI kind of option that you gave. That was a big bonus that must be highlighted uh, at other places as well. People get deterred. Uh, they feel like, oh, this much of investment at the start of my career, although this investment is very much worth it. But when people are so indecisive about what to take as the next step, this cost becomes that much more burdensome. So this installment option is one of the best blessings that this program has given that I'm able to pay with no financial burden on me.